Rachel. I am originally from Pennsylvania, Lancaster area. I just graduated from Duke University. And so we're just here cruising for the summer in our new van. Yeah, my name is uh, Ola. I'm originally from Nigeria by way of London, England. Uh, and I ended up in the States seven years ago. I'm a filmmaker, just graduated film school last year. And uh, this is our 95 Dodge Ram 3500 van. His name is Roberto. We call him Bertie for short. All right, so this is the uh, front section of the van here. Um, this is kind of where all of our stuff lives when we camp out and park out. Um, under here we have a little fridge um, where we keep, you know, perishable items. We don't usually keep too much on us, stick to the rice and beans kind of deal. Um, and then here we have an emergency toilet, which has not been used yet, thankfully. Uh, we haven't been in that kind of emergency so far. Very basic toilet. It's pretty much a bucket with a bag in it. We're uh, keeping our clothes in some hanging shelves here. We have a curtain rod across the top here and two layers of curtain so we can pull across at night so we can kind of black it out. And then we've been hanging for right now our clothes storage here. Um, when we're really camped somewhere for a few days, we like to hang everything up and have it here. Yeah, we got our yoga mats here. A couple skateboards down there. It's in the middle here, wedged in between the driver and passenger seats and a nice little trash can here. So when we got this, the guy who we bought it from actually pretty much did the whole conversion himself in about three months. Um, he did a pretty solid job overall, like well, like the macro big stuff is like pretty well sorted. Mm -hmm. A couple bits and pieces, you know, a couple screws out of place and stuff like that. But for the most part, it does everything we needed to. So we're now kind of in the bedroom <laughs> of the van. Uh, we got a couple nice benches here, right by these nice big windows. And this actually pulls out to a bed. So we sleep in the middle here, um, heads at that end. And we can actually, both of us stretch out fully. Like we sleep a little bit diagonal <laughs> at most of the time, but we can both actually stretch out fully like with the width of the van, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Um, Cushions are surprisingly comfortable. Very, very comfortable. Um, we yeah. cut up a, like an old sort of memory foam topper and so we have those. So we have extra cushions and the memory foam and blankets and all that kind of stuff stored under the bed. So when we pull it out, we just take it out and then throw it on top of the, uh, the benches and pretty comfortable bed setup. Yeah, it's really nice. And we usually just have a sheet at night. Otherwise we use, this is a gravity blanket. So it weighs about 20 pounds. So it's one of the heavier things in our, in our van that we kind of lug around, but it's super warm yeah. at night and it's very, very cozy. Yeah. Cause the benches are definitely nice. Say if you have company around, you're at a gathering and you want to host some people, have them over like we're in, but just in these two benches, you can have probably six people yeah. just sitting here. And then there's the storage space, um, the holding the fridge and the toilet. That's another at least three people if you want. Um, yeah, and you can't stand in it, but you can sit up. Most people, yeah. I can, I can sit up straight the full way. Some guys cannot, yeah, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> we also have these uh, reflectors, kind of insulators that we put in the windows. Um, they came with the van as well. We were really fortunate that they were already cut to size. Yeah, during... and it's also nice because it kind of makes it a little bit more incognito when we pull up somewhere and we don't want it, people to know that we're sleeping in here. Yeah. Um, we can put the reflectors up and then draw the curtains and then you really can't see in the van at all, which is yeah. nice. And there's these really nice like rolling um, curtains that are pretty nice so they can yeah. come down and the windows are already tinted. So between yeah. those three things, we can be very private. We got tinted windows, we got the reflectors you can put in and then the curtains that you can pull down yeah. so yeah really nice and we've got um great paneling that he did also with the van this nice light wood and he also put in some nice led lighting we have yeah. four back here yeah four yeah. different ones yeah and we got our fan right yeah. here it's kind of nice it's right above the kitchen area and the bed yeah. so at night it could, could be a nice yeah. fan if it's kind of hot and then we have two windows here with screens on them that we usually will open up so that creates really nice ventilation through sort of like the sleeping area so we're pretty we do pretty well temperature wise at night we've now entered the kitchen area mm -hmm. of the van 
So over here we got a nice sink and running water and two burners. The sink is nice because it kind of folds down. So if we're ready to wash some dishes or do something, you can pick that up. It's pretty convenient. Two, like roughly 10 gallon tanks. One is currently strapped to the bottom of the van. One is just kind of floating around loose and we need to put it back under there, um, which does us really fine. Like uh, as far as both um, the water storage and the electricity goes, I think we've sort of exceeded our needs thus far. Mm -hmm. Since we've only been on the road for three weeks now, yeah. we're really new to it. Um, we have been really fortunate to park at a lot of fa like family and friends places yeah. and different um, kind of public areas like truck stops, casinos, things like that, where we have access to water. It probably gives us about 10 days or so yeah. of sort of the like light usage, but like we don't really use a lot of water for anything. Um, we try to kind of keep it for like emergencies, I guess. Uh, and then over here is all where so our switches are under here. So there's a bunch of storage space under both these. Um, our like tank that attached to our gray water is under here, which we actually had to unclog a couple of days ago, which was fun. Uh, and then we have our propane um, under there. And then here's where we have all our fuses and the sort of controls for the solar panel. It is nice having all the different switches here. We've got one for the water pump. Um, for the gas, gas, we have a switch for the lights, a switch for these outlets that are here and there. Mm -hmm. There's actually a switch for these built-in little lights, like fairy lights, to go outside. We have an awning outside that we can show you in a minute, but the um, couple lights came with the van that we got so yeah there's some little globe ones and then there's just these string lights or fairy lights and you can also do, do them around the inside of here like there's some nails up along the top that have con been kind of built in so these are just for the nice ambiance fairy lights so one of the switches is for that too which i really love um we were just at this gathering the past few days and we're able to have all of our lights out on the awning and outside of the van and kind of look really beautiful and easy, easy makes it to easy find to find in the dark yeah sure. yeah sure. definitely yeah so and the electrical outlets are really great they have we have the um, normal like wall plugins oh. so for laptop chargers or whatever and then there are a couple USB ports and the um, like a car adapter kind of a car adapter port also yeah so we got plenty of power and we've got Lots of shelving up here that was really nice that he built into um, for the kitchen space. We got like a bunch of spices and we have a little bungee cord that we can put across to kind of keep everything in when we're driving, like some storage canisters, pong balls. We're already oh, always ready to do some beer pong wherever we go. We got cubs. And this is our water jug that we like to just always take with us. Rachel's low key one. really good at art. So she actually painted that entire thing with just a couple of us favorite characters and places we've been some of our favorite things <laughs> over the past yeah year or so yeah our shower is basically just this hose and uh, we have a pop-up tent near the front where we kind of if we want privacy we can kind of jump in and we try not to use this too much because it's literally about five minutes of use and then your tank's completely empty. Um, so you gotta have like a really quick one minute shower if you really need one. Um, but we just have to turn the water pump and the uh, propane on and then this uh, knob turns on the heat. And so like there's a burner actually in here and then that's just for like the water pressure. And some of these uh, pockets in the doors as well, it's pretty nice because there's these snap covers. So we have storage, extra, extra storage space in these like different doors all around the van. So we've got our like hammocks. This is like a beach blanket, tarp. Um, yeah, just some extra like rags, towels, cleaning stuff. Yeah. So got ourselves some rain -X in case our windshield wipers stop working again. <laughs> So this is the front cabin, the captain's seat. Um, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. What we really like actually about this is we have this sort of big central console in here. So we have a ton of storage space, so like our sort of registration and 
like passports and kind of stuff live up here and then we have storage space for sunglasses and lighters and all kinds of pen knives and little things like that um, yeah so that came with the van but yeah. very handy it has all these hidden compartments and little drawers so we have like our dog bed storage in the middle between the two seats where we keep our cameras and little bits and pieces we have usually have like a gallon of water in between the two seats here 95 yeah. van so everything is old school like their headlights are you pull them out like that everything is um yeah with the exception of the uh sort of media player yeah. which is like a jvc system that the previous owner put in honestly the speakers aren't so good so we actually usually end up just using our bluetooth speakers and linking them up yeah we have three ue boom speakers so and one of them is a mega boom so pretty big and you can link all of them so we'll put one in the middle and one on each side and it's pretty nice surround sound with plenty of bass um, but maybe someday we've thought about like replacing because there is the space for them here maybe putting in our own yeah, like speakers 23 year old van is v8 <laughs> so we get 15 miles to the gallon on the highway like on a good day um, like a 35 gallon tank so it's not the best it's yeah. not the worst yeah not too bad So you can follow us on Instagram. Um, our joint account for van life and travel and all of our stuff is Radio Mimundo. So this is Mundo, our mascot, and he travels with us everywhere. We're hoping for it to become a platform for all of our music and art that we do. I'm a filmmaker, so I've done you know some short narrative stuff, a couple music videos. Want to keep doing those in the future. Mm -hmm. um, podcast is something that we've talked about doing a lot. Yeah, we um, both just absolutely love music yeah. and have worked with music a yeah. ton. So we want to kind of put stuff out eventually, like on the road, from the road, um, and doing videos and music videos and different projects for other people and also ourselves. Um, so Radio Mamundo is where you can find us. Hopefully, we'll have a website one of these days. Um, yeah. yeah. And you can find us on there and Birdie the Dodge Ram van. Yeah. Hope you love the tour. Yeah.